Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. s a w a d i k a p and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP m u s t a n z a and here's the news you missed over the weekend. Facebook is telling the Thai government no way after asking them to adjust their rules on privacy in order to better line up with the country's laws on l e s e Majesté. Deputy Prime Minister Prajin Juntong met with Facebook representatives last week, but to no avail. So now the deputy PM is set to reach out to Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, hoping to alter their privacy rules. The news comes after the Thai government appealed to the social media giant to monitor posts and messages from users to find violators of the l e s e m a j e s t e law that makes it a crime to insult the monarchy. Similar appeals have already been made to Google and Line, with the reps from the messaging app also refusing to comply. And despite the recent deadly shootout at a pub in Samui or the bodies piling up of people in Phuket. Killed by guns carried into public places by off-duty cops, the Royal Thai Police is not considering reviewing its stance on officers carrying loaded firearms into pubs, clubs, restaurants, or other venues while not on duty. Currently, only on-duty officers are allowed to carry weapons in public, according to Thai law. But the commander of the General Staff Subdivision at Region 8 Police admitted that the Royal Thai Police do not. Have a policy for off-duty cops to carry weapons into public places. Though he did say that if there's an incident and they're charged, then off-duty cops will be punished. The explanation comes after a recent incident in Phuket Town, where two off-duty officers each killed each other outside a restaurant following an argument. Though police have not provided an update on the investigation. And conservation projects are now underway to restore Phuket beaches damaged by erosion over the past two months near s i r i n a t National Park in the island's north. The affected areas that are currently being restored include about 100 meters of beach at Nayang and around 25 meters at Maikau, where large trees have fallen onto the beach and sand has eroded from certain sections. Phuket will receive a budget of 70 million baht. To restore damaged beaches, which will be used to help restore 2,500 meters at s a i k e l Beach and 1,000 meters at Nayang Beach, the project comes after similar efforts in Pattaya. And stay right there, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. And welcome back to Phuket Extra. The decreasing numbers of Chinese tourists visiting the kingdom has gotten so low that three unnamed airlines in Thailand are hurting financially. But it gets worse. The director of the Civil Aviation Authority of Thailand is saying that if the three airlines don't shape up and submit financial rehabilitation plans before the end of the month, they could face a suspension of service. The recent crackdowns on the zero-dollar tour scams, which brought in Chinese tourists in droves, has dwindled the number of mainlanders to Thailand from 13,000 a day, roughly, in August, to just 4,000 a day now, according to figures from officials at Suvarnabhumi Airport. Tour agencies said that about 70% of Chinese tour groups have also canceled their own trips. Because of this, the three unnamed Thai airlines were unable to pay their fuel costs and expenses at airports overseas. And Thailand now has their first world golf icon, Arya j u t a n u g a r n who won a slew of prizes this weekend, none bigger than the LPGA Player of the Year honor that she wrestled away from world number one Cheers. Lydia Ko. The 20-year-old Thai finished fourth yesterday at the CME Group Tour Championship. Which put her over the top in the CME Globe Points competition, which comes with a one million U.S. dollar prize. j u t a n a g a r n s breakout season saw her win five tournaments, including three consecutive titles back in May. Thailand has a major champion. 
And that's it for all of us here at Phuket Extra today. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thanks for watching. And we're looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. The Phuket International Sport Fishing Tournament Pissed is back, November 23 to 26. For more details, visit Facebook, Phuket International Sport Fishing Tournament. Thailand's premier SSI Diamond Dive Center. Visit us in Geelong or on c-bees.com. CB's Diving. Adventure in good hands.